two guns. Denzel Washington is an undercover DEA agent. And Mark Wahlberg is an undercover United States Special Forces soldier. And while undercover, the two of them rob a bank together. Did they infiltrate the same gang? Well, actually, no. There's no gang. Somehow, they seem to have infiltrated each other. Yeah. Two guys undercover, unbeknownst to each other, and they wound up just the two of them together. Why a DEA agent is robbing a bank, I don't know. DEA agents, you know, that's drug enforcement agency. They don't do grand larceny. United States Special Forces soldiers. Um, U.S. military does not deploy on U.S. soil. Why would they be robbing an American bank? It wouldn't be them. Unless, of course, he was a member of the unit, but that show has been canceled, so I doubt it. Um, and why did they not know about each other? There's no, you know, wouldn't the Department of Homeland Security have known that these two guys were, I, I, don't, I don't know, I, I can't, can't explain it to you. However, the acting looks good. Denzel Washington is just as good an actor as he's ever been, and he looks like he's going to be that good in this movie. And Mark Wahlberg, he's just as good an actor as he's ever been, and he looks like he's going to be that good in this movie. The movie looks like it's going to have a lot of good action, and the movie looks like it's going to have a lot of entertaining banter between these two A-listers, although one is an Oscar category A-lister and the other one isn't. However, the movie looks like it's going to have a very, very, very stupid story that makes no logical sense whatsoever. I don't think I'm going to see this one in theaters. Uh, I may watch it when it comes out on DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming, but yeah, no. It doesn't make enough sense for me to spend you know, the 15 bucks to see it on a big screen. Gonna, gonna have to pass on this one.